What is up everybody, Escape211 here, and today we got a bit of a fun uh, video that's just talking about some rumors and speculation. I had Honor on the stream, we were talking about some upcoming things that we either wanted to see or thought were on the rise, and uh, with the advent of this new um, season pass that came out, I'm not usually big on the season passes, I don't buy them, especially ones that are all cosmetic, and this one is, um, even though the Ares one does look kind of cool, uh, it, it just not ne necessary, but with that, came a couple things that were like Easter eggs in game and we're going to talk about as well as some other uh, images that have kind of started floating around the community as some possible things that are coming down the pipeline. So again, this is all like speculation. Consider this similar to like the dev vlogs where they kind of give us inside info, but none of it is for sure ever going to happen in the game. All just rumors right now, but um, based on some decent sources. So that's why I figured it would be good to discuss it and, you know, I'll let you know what I'm thinking and, and what you guys are thinking about it, all right? So uh, we're going to get into each of these different weapons and a mech, and we'll see how it all goes. So the first one up is going to be a new Arc Torrent that we have. Uh, like we've talked about with the other weapons, they often come in the three sets, right? They've been filling in the three sets faithfully for all the other weapons that we have, and the Arc Turret is the next one. We talked about this on the stream this week, um, or this past week, so it makes sense, and someone found an image, this image, of what they're calling the Arc Turret 12. Now that makes a lot of sense because we have a 6 and a 10. The next one to go would be a 12. Doesn't make sense to go lower than the 6, and it doesn't really make sense to make an Arc 8. So an ARC-12 makes sense. I don't think an ARC-16 would, would happen. That sounds way too OP to me. Um, but an ARC-12 would fit right in with the meta. It would be obviously very strong, uh, and the ARC-10s are widely used endgame right now. So it's a straight upgrade from that on all of your 24 energy mechs. But yeah, very interesting one to see. Uh, definitely like to play around with this one if it happens. All right, this next one is about the Railgun. Now, there was an image, like I had said, that was going around of a Railgun 12, and I did see that. We talked about it on the last stream, where I actually kind of thought it was doctored, but I did get another image that looked more legit from a different source, where we had two images of these Railguns, a Railgun uh, heavy and a Railgun light was all it said. I don't know if this is going to be a Railgun 12 and then something higher than the 16 or if we're going to get like a 6 and a 10 and then the 16. I don't know. It makes me worry for sure about power creep, but it definitely looks interesting and this might be something that we can see if they keep doing the three sets. All right, for this next one, it was one that anyone can see as like an Easter egg in game and it came with the new battle pass uh, that anyone can see if you want to check it out yourself as well. So if you just go to your inventory here and you go into pilots, into your uh, index for all of your implants and you scroll down, there are some new implants in here for this new weapon. Um, it should be in the weapon section here. Oh no, wait, it's all the way at the bottom. And there it is right there, boom. Voltaic RPGs. All right, sounds really interesting in its title. I actually thought this might be connected to the other RPGs, but no, it actually looks different. It has its own look to it, um, you know, and it has its own like icon and stuff like that for uh, the actual looking thing. So if I go back up here and we find RPGs, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, RPGs look different than this does, right? So this has a different, it actually looks beefier. So I'm thinking these are gonna be a higher caliber, but Voltaic, I don't know exactly what that means, right? Um, so I actually looked it up and it has about, it talks about electricity that's produced by chemical reaction, kind of like a battery. So it almost makes me think of the caustic blast, um, where as this fires or hits somebody, it will do a caustic blast. Like, honestly, it would be cool if this was like an artillery weapon that shot and had an area effect and was like the fart cannon that we talked about on the uh, on the stream. And if you're curious about that, check out the last stream. But it kind of reminded me of that. And if they do something like that, that would be cool. And it's just funny that we talked about it and this might actually happen that way. Uh, this weapon certainly seems like it's gonna happen since it's already in here, but I have no idea what it's gonna be like, how strong it's gonna be, what caliber it's gonna be, what type of weapon it's gonna be. Since it's an RPG, I would think it's gonna be a rocket-based thing that you would use with either uh, Samson um, or Nova, but I don't know. We'll have to see when it actually comes out to know what it's going to be like. The um, implants don't tell us a whole lot. They're just like uh, reload, range, and then damage, just similar to what the RPGs do. So we're just going to have to wait this one out, but it seems like it's close if they're already putting it in here. 
All right, so that was that one. All right, very cool idea. And this last one, again, was in here for us. If you go to your achievements and you scroll down, this is a new possible mech. Next to Stalker, there's an empty spot here that has a Lancer in place of it. And uh, if we go into it, you'll see that, you know, it has all these different achievements, a couple of white spots that were there. Uh, none of them really tell us anything. Everything just says unknown for using what the name of the mech would be. So we don't know what it is. But my speculation, based on what I've seen so far, is that this will be related to the rocket mortar meta, all right? We have so much of this rocket mortar meta that gets really annoying. Obviously, this weapon is dominating the battlefield. But I did happen to see an image of this mech, and this is what it looks like. I thought it looked pretty darn cool. Overall, I like the boxy design of it. But what I noticed right away was was those little like blue things that almost look like shielding and it made me think or hope that this is going to be some kind of a shielded mech maybe like a dome shield that could protect an area especially from something like rocket mortars and that's what i'm hoping is the case because if that is the case at least we'll have some kind of counter to this weapon that's been in the meta quite honestly i'd rather see them just bring the power level down of the rocket mortars i think they're a little too op and having a counter that is forced for us to buy is not what i'd like but I do at least appreciate that there's something potentially coming to the game that could help us deal with rocket mortars because they just own so much of the space in this game right now. It's insane. So, um, yeah, that, that's that's what I've seen so far with this new stuff, with this new mech uh, and these new weapons. And that's that's all I've got, guys. And again, like I said, this is all speculation type of stuff. None of this is anything that I would say is is definitely going to happen. Um, some of it seems like it could a little bit more than others, but some of this could just be possible designs that they've scrapped um, and that may never see the light of day. So I have no idea uh, what will come in, but all this seemed like really interesting stuff to look at and talk about. So, you know, I'd love to hear your thoughts too, guys. You can tell me what you think Voltaic means. You can tell me if we're going to maybe hopefully get the fart cannon that way um, or what this mech could be like its name, its ability, all that kind of stuff. It'd be really cool to hear all your thoughts as well. So feel free to comment below and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.